Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Work on your bait to get women. Work on your bait, y'all. Come on, come on, y'all. Look, you know, uh, roughly a month ago, I did that uh, video that's gotten a lot of attention. Pay attention to the women who want you. And a, a common thing that I got, a common comment I got on there, which I ain't gonna lie, I delete them every time. Women don't want me, women don't look at me, yo, that stuff. But they missing a basic part of just basic attraction. They need their bait, their bait. No, or some people will call it a trap, whatever, depending on where you at. Whatever the case, Women make a choice in a man initially in roughly three seconds. Now, yeah, you can be in situations where you can get to know the woman if you're working with or you're in the same social circle. But in the majority of cases, a woman's just going to look a man up and down, decide whether or not he can get it or he can't get it. And if you're saying women don't want you or women aren't looking at you, the main place to look is uh, your overall appearance and the more so than your looks and let me make that clear because some guys think oh You just have to have a handsome face. Uh, women look at everything. That's your bait. That's just basic game That is just basic game right there Shoot if you don't believe me all oh, you go in the YouTube search and hit uh, Just write in smash or pass Smash or pass face to face and then watch just go through any video on that the women making a choice just right away. <laughs> the man making a choice just right away and everything. And it was based on overall appearance. Now, of course, if we, let's, let's break it down. Yeah, women looking at the face, but they don't stop there. But let's start with the face. Look, if your women aren't looking at you, what are you doing? Are you keeping your face clear? Are you washing your face? No, I'm dead serious. What, what about the grooming? Like I always say, the barber bless you. In fact, um, a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, a young man, a barber, he had made a comment. And I said to him, uh, you know, he was a barber, and, you know, tell me about what he's doing. And I said, you know what, barbers are responsible for the birth of more babies. <laughs> and he says, um, yeah, shh, shh, getting people bad, some people bad at me. He's like, hey, you know what, it's cool, it's cool. Because bar no, seriously, that's why barber is a big thing. Shit, a lot of guys can tell you they got a woman just because they had a fresh cut. So just, hey, if you just, hey, yeah, your bone structure might be whatever, but you can fix that up. Or if you got a beard, whatever, grooming, just, just basic grooming, all right? If you having trouble finding a woman, okay, work on that, you know? Figure out what you're gonna do with your hair, you know? And then, I always talk about body game. That's what I'm mainly known for, women checking out bodies. If you improve your, if you're not getting any attention, you need to work on your body. And I mean sincerely, because some guys will say, well, I got all, they'll get in the comments and say, well, I'm this and that, and what are they paying attention to? And it, well, either they're lying, or they haven't, um, they got some social skill issues. But that's another conversation. You gotta have a bait. You gotta draw them to you initially. And a lot of guys fail that test. So body game, no matter, and you know, some guys, well, no, I ain't tall as I say, no. Cause you got a lot of guys, you know, they ain't six feet, but they might be five, five. But I, like I know, I've known some players, five, five, but they worked on their bodies and they fixed up. In fact, one in particular I know was five, five. That dude always dressed well. He dressed well, worked out, everything, you know? And that goes beyond it, because even with body game, you still gotta wear clothes and everything. You need to wear clothes that accentuate your body, magnify your body. And, and that's something super tight, because it still need to look masculine. I'm just gonna say that. Anybody get mad about it? Tough. You still need to look masculine, but you gotta be concerned. And then, you know, your shoes, everything. Women be looking at shoes. Women appreciate a man who got some style. If you're not drawing attention from a woman, if you're not drawing attention from women, you need to just physically look at yourself. 
Are you getting a good haircut that complements your features? Are you getting serious? Are you getting a good haircut? Because you get a lot of guys complaining and I've even seen men in the real world. Now I can't judge like their bone structure and stuff. I don't know how women see it, but I don't know if a haircut is fresh or not. <laughs> you know, I know if the clothes are like uh, fitting well, you know? Cause that's the thing. You gotta, you just gotta work on that. You gotta work on your appearance. It's just that simple. Because what it does, it don't like, it ain't gonna necessarily make a woman wanna jump in bed with you right away. But she at least gonna look like, oh, he look nice. Cause understand what's something with women, man. They just like, they like, they, they like motherfuckers who look good and they like a man with style. Especially style. You, I've had some women actually come on here. They've actually commented on my video, my body game videos. They were like, you know what? We'll take a guy who's just dressed well more so than a body, more so than a man who's super muscular. They said that. But style, that's style. In fact, style is actually the great equalizer. Style is the game I learned growing up. Because everybody ain't like some super handsome dude or something, but you get a lot of guys. They get that fit, they got that style. If you go through those smash up, Smash your past videos. Women are commenting on the guy's fit with the clothes. Okay, it look nice on them and all of that. You know? Seriously, that's what you need to focus on, the bait. See, the bait gets them over there. Now then, y'all need to check out what I've talked about with social skills. You know, and you gotta just practice it, but you gotta get them over there. A lot of guys look, hey, a lot of guys lose out on women. They, send, they might have the greatest conversation in the world. They might can shoot the breeze, but they ain't gonna get most women. Those are guys that typically get a woman, they in the same social circle or something, or they, you know, same social circle, they working together or something like that. They in a position where they can get to know the woman. But like I said, most guys ain't not, not gonna be in that position. Most guys, you just gonna run into that woman right there. So you gotta have something. She gotta be like, mm, something. And then you just gotta pick up on it and be like, okay, I can take it to another level, but what good is it? What good is it? Seriously, if you talk to a lot of women, they say a lot of guys I'm looking bummy. In fact, that's where the term dusty come from. You ain't looking good. You ain't looking crisp. You ain't clean. So if you having trouble attracting women, if you having real trouble, you know, just even looking at you, you know, you can control that for the most part. You can control that. At least dress well. Shit, dress well or just dress complimentary. Fix yourself up. Let the barber bless you. You know? That few dollars, like I said, a barber, shit, they responsible for the birth of probably more babies. One way or the other. You know? A nice cut. A nice cut go a long way. You know? And the beauty of it is you can experiment. You can have say, go into the barber and say, hey, okay, give me this fade. Let me see what it do. Or like, uh, you know, even, even shave it all off. It might work for you, whatever. Figure out what works for you. And barbers, shit, they gonna hook you up because you advertise it for them. <laughs> A smart barber gonna make sure you hooked up. Cause he want one, he wants you to come back too. He want people to see your cut and say, hey, where'd you get that cut? Boom. Boom. And then as far as your style, it look, if you go to if you go to like a men's store or a men's department of a department store, and if they are at least if they smart, they gonna hook you up because they want you to come back. You know, find out, talk to and shoot, having some women just women just friends, or shoot just women in your family. Just yeah, be just ask them to be honest with you and say what you need. Seriously. But you gotta have a bait. You can't get past that. You got to have something. Now, I've even heard women say that. They use bait or some equal term, and they say, yeah, yeah, lousy bait. Just fix yourself up if you want it. It's just that simple. It's not deep. It really isn't. You got young, you got young, you got young men across the country who ain't having problems because they understand that basic. Despite, I don't care what the stats say about who's lonely or what and that. You got some men who, young men who get it. Boom, bait, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for now. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.